Welcome back to Knights TV. Time of the V of Viola here with the uh, star of the game. One of the stars of the game. There's a lot of stars in uh, in both of these games today. The Charlotte Knights pick up a victory, a doubleheader sweep today as they win game one by a score of three to nothing and game two by a score of seven to two. I'm here with Jason Coates and uh, Jason, two hits in game number one, uh, two hits in game number two. Of course, the big uh, first inning for you guys uh, uh, back in, uh, in game number one. You had the two RBIs uh, uh, first and foremost. Obviously, a good game all around today. Thank you. It's, uh, it's good to see us come out there and uh, compete today uh, and take both of them. And it's, uh, like we said in the clubhouse, we're, we're still in the playoff hunt and we're just going to take it one, one game at a time and see what happens. Yeah, still in the playoff hunt, obviously. Uh, Gwinnett loses tonight, so you guys just a half game back now. Uh, controlling really your own destiny. I mean, you have two games, the final two games of this season against the Gwinnett Braves. How excited are you? How excited are the guys to be a part of uh, really a, a pennant race down the stretch here? I mean, everybody's really excited. And like I said, we are uh, we just wanted to take care of business today and not really worry about what they did. But now that they're, they're coming here and it comes down to these final two games, uh, we're just going to go out there like we have these two games and just see what happens. What about the job of uh, Carson Fulmer tonight and David Holmberg, too? Yeah. Uh, you know, two of your starting pitchers tonight. Both of those guys stepped up and uh, both pitched very good games. Uh -huh. I mean, they both came out, uh, gave us uh, a lot of quality innings and kept the, kept the work out of the bullpen a little bit. So that was good. But uh, I think whoever, whoever takes the ball out on the mound is going to have a, a, a good attitude and just get after it like uh, the both starting pitchers did tonight. How, how fun is it for you? Obviously, you spent some time up in the majors this year with the White Sox, uh, your first opportunity uh, to, to play at the, the major league level, but now back down here and, and really contributing, helping this team get to a playoff race. A lot of fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it, was, it was a good experience up there, but uh, wherever I'm playing, I'm just going to be try to be the same person and just give it all I got, and that's the, the type of player I am. I'm just going to try to produce for the team and see what happens. <laughs> Last thing for you, Jason, uh, playing in front of this crowd tonight, another sellout crowd over 10,500. How much does that play into uh, you know these games here? I, I mean, it's it's awesome. The the fans are always great here, and having a sellout on uh, the last Saturday of the season is just uh, amazing. They they brought us a lot of energy, and uh, as you can see, we kind of fed off of it and just kept it kept it rolling through both games. Well, Jason, thank you so much. Uh, great games, uh, both games for you tonight. Uh, four hits overall, and uh, uh, two big wins tonight. Congratulations, yeah. you guys. Thank you. All right, there he is, Jason Coates. Four hits out of the uh, two games tonight, and the Knights sweep a doubleheader against the Norfolk Tide. Just a half game behind the Gwinnett Braves with two games left to play in the regular season. I'm Tommy Navi of Viola for Knights TV.